Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we are going to run our first Spark job, which is called Word Count. What the job does is count the occurrences of each word in a real article. You can open the project we've downloaded from GitHub on the last lecture using any text editor or Python IDE you like. I'll be using Visual Studio Code, which is a lightweight, free and powerful code editor but you are welcome to use your favorite one. In our project, there is a directory called in. All our input data sources are in this directory. The article we are going to analyze is in a file called word underscore count dot text. Let's open it up. This is a short article about the history of New York with less than 1000 words. We are going to load this file and count the number of each word using Spark. Next, let's open up the word count file under the RDD folder. This is our first Spark program we are going to run. Don't worry if you don't fully understand all the code here. This is just an exercise to get your hands dirty with Spark. Let me quickly walk you through this file. First, we create the Spark context, which we import from the PySpark API. This context is the entry point to Spark Core. Our Spark app is named WordCount. We are going to run our application on an embedded Spark instance on our local box which could use up to 3 cores of our CPU. Then we set the log level to error. If you change the spark log configurations file, this is not necessary. Then we load the word count file as an RDD. RDD is resilient distributed dataset and we are going to see more of what that is later. Next, we are going to split the article into separate words using white space as the delimiter. Finally, we calculate the occurrence of each word and print out the results. Now, let's run this Spark job. Open a command line terminal. We are going to use the Spark submit script that comes with Spark. Just type spark submit the path to the script you wish to run and hit enter let's go through the output as you see most of the words only appeared once the word state appeared five times and some common words such as two appeared 17 times. Congratulations, you have just run your first Spark program. Again, don't worry if you don't fully understand all the source code of this program. We'll go through all of them in the later lectures.